Good morning. Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School. Coming to you from Rancho Cortez in Bandera, Texas. So yeah, there's a lot of activity in the background. They're working out at the barn this morning. But we're gonna work with rodeo just a little bit. And uh, so rodeo, if you saw the last video we did, the short video, she just turned a year old, September 1st. So she's just a yearling. So there's questions, you know, there's always questions about how soon to start a horse, what should you do? And there's not as many hard and fast rules, hey sister, uh, as people like to put down. Um, so now when they're 18 months or two years old, they're too young to ride hard because the bones in their knees have not closed up and you'll cripple them in the long run. And, uh, but you can start working, you start working them just halter and, and different things like that. I mean, when they're young foals, when they're weanlings. Um, we're not starting her, of course, but here in a couple of days, we're gonna to have to put her out in the pasture. And where she came from in Colorado, she was out in a huge pasture and she hadn't been handled much. What you see today, this is night and day from what she was. So we're just gonna work her a little bit today and just show you some things. Um, and I don't have it planned out. There's not something I'm fixing, so I'm not going to war. I'm going to let her kind of do what she wants, and then I'm going to react and flow to that this morning, if that makes sense. So I'm going to come up, and I'm going to halt her, and she doesn't really like that very much, but she's getting so much better, little girl. She wants to move. I'm going to let her move if she wants. I'm going to let her move. Now, this is the way I do it, okay? You have to do your own thing, and I'm just going to let her move. Whoop. The best way to get a horse to stop moving when you go to catch them is just to let them move until they decide there's no point in it. There's no gaining. Whoop, come here. Now, come back around here and face the camera. Come here, okay? Now there comes a little bit of a point she has to learn to bend to my will. But we're, it's not a fight and a fuss. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, she's not hard to kid. This, this morning, this is just brilliant compared to what she was even a week ago. Um, when a horse doesn't want to be caught, they move away. If you follow them, all you're doing is pushing them away. Okay? If you noticed, I came into her shoulder, and that's what she's used to now. Come on over here. She's not really halter broke or anything. She can just move a little bit. If you notice, I came into her shoulder. So if you come out into a pen and you got a horse that you want to catch and they don't want to be caught and they move away, don't follow them. Get ahead of them. If they're moving around like that, switch direction and come over here and always point and come into their shoulder. Always come into their shoulder, okay? So anyhow, we'll have more later when I have a horse that's actually really hard to catch. We'll do more of that. But in the meantime, don't follow your horse around when they're hard to catch. Go into the shoulder, okay? So we're going to work her a little bit today. I'm just going to work her a little bit on, on giving to the halter. I just come in, a little bit of pressure, and when she gives, I give. It's a whole lot easier to teach them to be light from the beginning than it is to correct it later. Okay, now she goes to move her feet. I don't want her to move her feet because when they go to move their feet, when you're doing this, that's them, they're looking to get away from the pressure. They're looking for a different way. And that's not the method I want her to use. There you go. When you go to, when you go to tip your horse's head in and they go to move their feet, just hold it, just hold it. They'll get tired of moving their feet and when they stop moving their feet, then let it go. And they'll put it together after a while. They'll put it together that moving the feet isn't the answer. Ooh. So I'm, a, well, my timing was just a hair second off there. There we go. And then I'll release. Good girl. And don't do much. Listen, we get in trouble 
with these babies when we do too much. Okay? This is their introduction to what their life is going to be. And if they decide right now life is going to be a lot of work and a lot of drudgery and a lot of repetition, they'll get sour and they decide, I'll do it if I have to, but I don't want to do it. So I, I'm not going to sit out here and do this for 15 or 20 minutes. I'm just going to do a couple things. So she's laying against that. I'm not really, there she goes, she, she gave a little bit. There, okay, and I'm done. She's a year old, she's a baby, give them a break, okay? Babies need to play, you're, you're good, you're good, all right? You cannot do things with your horse to the point that they decide it's all work, it's all work. Every time he comes out, he's gonna do something with me. I'm gonna give you a lot of slack there so you'll know. And this is what my life is going to be. This is what his presence is going to be. It's going to be work. It's going to be drills. He's going to drill this and drill this and drill this. And after a while, they don't want to be around you. Listen, if your horse ain't having fun, ain't nobody having fun. Okay? Now I'm going to go over here and get the brush and the comb. I'm going to just let her learn to follow that feel. I'm not going to tug and pull. All right, come here. Little bump, little bump. There we go. Little bump. No drama. No muss. No fuss. Now, she doesn't care too much to have her mane comb, so we're just going to play and work on that a little bit. He said, Dwayne, I don't see a program in this. I don't see anything that we could make a horse training video out of. No duh. Hey, Lacey, get out of here. So I'm just gonna drape this over my arm. And we're just gonna go easy. So I had a vet come out a couple days ago. The folks here on the ranch said they wanted a Coggins test. So I tied her up to have her ready for the vet when he came out to get a Coggins test. Now the vet came out and he said, well, we don't, don't normally do that when they're just a yearling. And uh, so I untied her. My point is, except for things like that, in the horse trailer to come out here, I never ever tie these babies. I don't tie them. I don't like to tie them. The reason I don't tie them, if you wait and tie a horse when they are, you've got a really good ride, it's a really hot day and you've had a really good ride and they're tired. And so when you tie them, they want to be tied. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. They want to be tied and it's a good thing. Then they learn that that's not something to fight. But you tie when they're young and they're fresh and you start tying them up and then something spooks them and they pull back. Now, I don't know about you, but one of the hardest things there is for me to correct in a horse, and I've never been successful. I'm just going to tell you right up front, I've never been fully successful, is a horse that has learned to pull back breaking them of that now i know and and i i welcome it i you know i hope so i know there's going to be comments on the video going to come up well i had a horse that tied back and this is what i did and it fixed it tell me about it okay we want to hear but the easiest thing is prevention prevention is better and so how do you prevent a horse from pulling back when they're tied don't tie them i guarantee you when i start this little filly in the spring and the plan is i'm gonna start her under saddle in march and just do just a little tiny little bit of riding for a couple months just easy stuff in the arena and then a couple trails then i'm gonna turn her out till next year and i guarantee she'll not be tied she'll not be tied to be brushed she'll not be tied to be saddled 
she won't be tied until she's good and tired and is looking to stand still. And so she gets it in her mind that that's a good place, that's a good thing. And it's not something that she gets it in her mind, this is something to fight and get away from. So what am I doing today? I'm just handling her, just handling her. No drama, no school, no official school. Listen, you can take your son, you can take your eight-year-old son, and you can set him down at the kitchen table with a workbook. And you can say, okay, we're going to study math. Here, write this out. And you can sit there and fight with him for three or four hours trying to learn math. Or you can take him with him, you can take him with you out in the field. And you can say, we've got to go feed the horses. Each horse is going to need a half a bell of hay. And we got three horses. How much hay should we load up in the truck? And let him figure it out, help him figure it out. And you just schooled him in a way that he loves. And he don't hate school. But we take our horses, especially these young babies, and we take them to school, and we school them in such a way that they hate. And you don't have to do that. I guarantee she's learning more right here. And there ain't no dang lunge whip. We're not running any circles, okay? I'm not out here with a flag flagging her down. We're just out here spending some time, and she's being handled. And all of this translates later on, okay? This all translates. And if you find this video, if you find this video boring and uninstructional, then you've been ruined by horse training videos. And you have forgotten what getting into horses was all about in the first place. Good girl. A week ago, well, two weeks ago, I had to rope her to catch her repeatedly. I wasn't in where I was in a round pen. And once she got a rope, once you roped her, she would, you could get a halter on her if you were moved slow and easy. Tremendous difference. I'm going to see if she'll follow me. Come on, honey. Lead rope is off. No pressure on the lead rope. Bonnie Roberts is nowhere in sight. No join up. I'm in a round pin because that's where she is, but you can do this out in your backyard. She's like, where, where are you at? Where are you at? All right. So you know what we're going to do now? We're going to quit. We're going to quit before we go too far. We're going to quit. See her lick her lips? She's thinking and she's relaxed. She doesn't even know she just went to school. Take your lead rope. Get it ready. Step back at the shoulder. Step back at the shoulder. Tuck her nose in. She's got to learn this. Tuck her nose in. Drop it off. There you go. Let her go. All right. This is Dwayne, Dry Creek Ranger School. If you like it, click like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, click share and send it to somebody that you think it might help. Hey, baby doll. We do have a Patreon account. Uh, if you want to help support this channel, Learning to relax. You and your horse going back to the basics and having fun and enjoying. All right? Hope you liked it. We'll catch you next time.